And the second one is the contact of the object. If I can see here. So I want to show you a video and the showing oh, there is some uh, voice. So, so the application is like, for example, in this uh, video that we have a, a T cell interact with the cancer cell sort of applications, then we want to measure how many uh, granules is actually uh, sending from the T cell to the cancer cell. So we can use this shortest distance combined with the tracking in Imaris to, to measure the number or to track the number of the granules which is in contact or inside this cancer cell. So obviously from this video, you can see we make a service out of the, the cancer cells and the, we use the spots to identify the granules and the track the granules and the surface and they use this shortest distance as the uh, filter to filter out the number of uh, granules uh, contact or inside cancer cell at each time point. Right, so here I'm going to show you, but I don't have the exact uh, same uh, images. So I will try to use this one. For example, now you can see from uh, this image, we have, maybe we just look at the second and the third channel, and we have some uh, cells in two different shapes. One is this uh, large surface-like uh, structure, and the one is this green one is the, the one we can use the spot to, to detect. Or we can use both surface, it's the same, actually the same uh, procedure. And here it's easier to use the spots. So I'm going to use the spots for the green ones and the uh, surface for the white one and see uh, if we can detect the number of contacts between uh, green and the white at each time point. So I'm going to start with the spot. So here, uh, make sure to check the shortest distance uh, calculation if you need this uh, statistic and go to the next. And of course you can uh, check these different spot size if you, the size of the cells are, uh, there are much difference between the size of the cells. So you can check that options as well. Okay, for channel two, I'm going to measure the size is about 4.6. Okay, so maybe I use five. And the background subtraction, of course. All right, so let me turn off the white ones right, and uh, go through the time point to see if we have a good detection on most of the cells. Looks quite okay. Go to next, go to next. And here I'm going to use the auto regressive motion for the distance. This time resolution is not super good so Maybe we will see some. Okay, so maybe this one is not 1.9. Let me see if there is some. Okay, let me just draw this one. So you will see some jump off here to there, which I'm not sure if it's the same cell, but I'm going to use this one. So it's about 10, maybe it's too big. So you can see this generally is not moving so fast. But sometimes maybe the Z resolution or maybe I have to change this Z plane to make sure it's the same cell or not. 
All right, so 10 looks a big number for this example, so I'm not going to use that. So maybe in general, it looks like it's not moving so fast. So it's only a little bit. So I'm going to use maybe just maybe four or five, maybe four, and keep the gap in two. All right, and see how it goes. And here, maybe I can remove some uh, short tracks just to have a more uh, clear uh, result for our training purpose. Okay, so now I have this result. Then of course we can do the same uh, manual edit if we like. Some of the short tracks, uh, I remove it. But that should be good enough for our uh, contact event measurement. So we will see. Uh, another one for the wide one, I'm going to use the uh, surface. So surface and track surface, shortest distance for the white. So here for the object size, so maybe here. So 11, so I'm going to use 10. All right, and try to, maybe I change the color so it's easier to see. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to, oh no, this is not actually, so this is actually not the same. From this, this view, it looks like the same, but if you rotate it a little bit, you will find it is not. So overall, it looks pretty decent. So we have multiple uh, surface object here. Uh, if you want to measure only one or want to focus on few, then you will be able to uh, delete those cells uh, in the manual edit process. And here I'm just going to keep the big ones just for the better visualization. Okay, so maybe I will keep it. So for, oh, not track yet. Okay, so here I'm also going to use the auto regressing motion. And since this, this service does not look uh, moving, so I'm just going to use some. Okay, let me check if I can find some movement. Looks pretty uh, static, static here. It's basically not moving, so. Let me check. All right, so maybe this one, it's very small movement. So maybe I will use like three and two. See if we can still, yeah, it's all, all very uh, short movement, uh, short tracks, which matches to our observation. And I will just keep the default result. All right, so we have the surface and the, this uh, spot. Mm, let me see. Select the track. So here, for example, this one. Uh, it's missing in the middle. As far as I can see, there is a missing uh, detection. But because we have this uh, closed uh, we have this closed gap uh, options turned on, so we can still uh, track this object like, successfully, even without a detection in the middle, like in this frame, we miss once. So here, then in the tracking here, if we, choose field gaps with all detect object. 
then maybe we will have a closed, uh, we will have a, an object here or not because it's no detection. So I guess we have to change from the beginning to redo the surface and make sure it's there. But that's okay. Uh, here we want to mainly demonstrate the, the contact events between this spot and the surface. So it depends on whether you want to measure the all or just uh, some of them. If you want to measure only some of them, then you can multi-select these objects, then uh, go to the edit and uh, duplicate. So you will have another group, which is the simplified uh, selection of the uh, target object you want to measure. Here I'm going to use everything. So if you go to um, filter, then you can uh, add the filter and uh, give it the shortest distance to spot. No, actually it's, it's going to uh, spot. You should go to the spot and go to filter and add because you want to count the number of the spots, not the number of the surface. So you have to go to, we have to go to spots and uh, use the shortest distance to surface. Then maybe turn off the minimum and set the maximum to zero. And then here zero means the center of the spot to the edge of the surface. So sometimes you will see this, uh, it did not uh, contact between the, the spot. So you have to match the uh, diameter of, if you want to really you know, measure the contact between the spot and the surface. Uh, I think maybe a mistake. Let me check. Short distance to surface. Surface should be the center of the spot to the edge of the surface, correct? But here it looks like it's not. So let me check. Oh, so maybe there is a, a keep tracking. So in some time points, you will see this uh, spot in uh, contact because I'm selecting the whole track. So all these uh, spots which has been contact and the track, contact the service and the track by Maris will be highlighted. Then if you want to only visualize the current object, then you, we can select the object here and then go to filter then you will see only the current uh, contact events. And here, like I said, the zero is from the center of the uh, spot to the edge of the surface. So if you want to measure also the, the ones which is uh, contact from maybe edge to edge, maybe you have to adjust these numbers according to the diameter of the the spot. But here I'm just going to use zero. And now if we uh, duplicate selection to the new spot, then we will have a one, uh, one group of the spot, which is just a uh, contact at each time point with this service. So if we want to measure the number at the time point, the number of contact events in each time point, then we will have these uh, numbers like this and the surface. Then we can change the display of the surface to maybe something more beautiful, like transparent and we will have this uh, spot we can see inside or just at the edge of the surface. Okay, so we can have the uh, 
uh, contact event numbers here, and we have the total spot H time point from here. So if you group these two, you will be able to make the calculation, export this table and make the calculation for each time point. If that is the desired uh, result. Okay, so that is how, how we can use the, the uh, native uh, distance measurements to filter out least contact uh, events and try to calculate the numbers or, or other statistic, whichever is uh, required. Okay, so that is the uh, shortest distance calculation combined with the, the tracking. Then we can, for some applications, then we can use 